Welcome back to our second developer blog for the upcoming 2.0 update for Battle Cry of Freedom. This week, we're excited to share one of the most highly requested features that is coming to the game, gore and blood. With a 2.0 patch, players can expect to see new and improved death and wounded animation. The animations are designed to work in conjunction with our existing ragdoll system. Each time a player is killed, a different death animation will be selected based on the weapon and direction the player was killed from. The new update introduces mechanics that allow for limb and head cutting with bladed weapons such as axes and swords, as well as crushing with heavy two-handed weapons. While the core mechanics of the melee gameplay remain unchanged, the addition of realistic blood and gore effects and the ability to cut off limbs greatly helps players immerse themselves in the brutal and gruesome reality of 19th century warfare. To complement these new animations, when a player is hit by a projectile, they will now visibly bleed on the ground or surrounding walls. There is a chance that they will not die immediately, but instead lay on the ground and slowly bleed out. Dead or wounded players will also leave blood pools on the ground, which will slowly grow over time until the player has bled out. We've also added unique death animations for players who meet their demise from the environmental hazards, such as fire or bees. These animations will add realism to the game and make the battlefield experience more immersive and intense. Another exciting new feature in the 2.0 update is the ability for players to get knocked down and for surgeons to revive knocked out players. When a player is hit, there is a chance that they will not be killed outright but instead knocked down. Knocked down players will lay on the ground and bleed out until a friendly surgeon comes by and revives them. If no friendly surgeon is available, the player can either give up by pressing K or call for help by pressing C. In the 2.0 update, artillery will be even more devastating. Players unfortunate enough to be directly hit by artillery will likely lose an arm or a leg, as shells have a high chance to dismember anyone standing in their way with a direct hit by an explosion likely causing the player to be ripped to pieces. In addition to this devastation caused by artillery, the 2.0 update also brings fully deformable terrain, where any impact from shells or cannonballs will leave a crater in the floor. Engineers now have the ability to dig trenches, create embankments, and construct readouts using their shovels or pickaxes. Shovels can be used for digging and creating embankments, while pickaxes can only be used for digging, but at an increased rate. This allows for a more dynamic and ever-changing battlefield, with players able to use the new terrain features for cover and tactical advantage. That concludes this week's developer blog. We would like to thank you for your continued interest and support in our game, and we are looking forward to bringing more updates and features in the near future.